Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and day 18 of the challenge. And today I've took a different direction and I've started looking at the terrain. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what I've been up to, what I've been thinking about and how I'm going to be putting together something that resembles the Fang, which is the Monastery of the Space Wolves. And so this is their base with loads going on. I found some great resources to use to put it together. So in this video, we'll go through how exactly I'm thinking of doing it. And then I'll show you all the different steps that I've gone through to get to this point with the terrain. And then, um, yeah, then tomorrow I'm back to painting so I can spend the next four or five days getting the rest of the models painted and then start thinking about working on the terrain. So I want to have a good week to get going with this terrain so I could get a lot done both for a centerpiece, but also for the gaming board and different um, scenarios that we can play out on it. So yeah, it's going to be really fun and I'm really happy that the painted is almost complete so I can spend quite a big chunk of time on this terrain. So let's look at the table and we can start going through exactly what I've been up to today. Here's the table and it's looking a little bit different today. I've moved the models right to the back and I've started to gather together all the different foam and polystyrene tin cans and things I'm going to use to build the centerpiece, this ice fortress. And so I've got tons of this pink foam. I've got some big sheets under the table as well. So this stuff's really great to work with. I've also got a load of packaging material like this polystyrene. This isn't so good, but with a hot cutter, hot wire cutter, it's not so bad. There's some interesting shapes in there as well. Loads of tin cans, loads of coffee cans I've been collecting for months now, so they're going to come in handy as well. And then some extra packaging pieces, which have got some really interesting shapes going on with them. So I'm going to take all of these with some other little tubes and cardboard um, like hollow tubes as well, and just put them all together and try and come up with some really cool backdrop, which is going to also serve as the kind of display piece for the Space Wolves army. On page seven of the Space Wolves Codex, it just introduces us briefly to the mountainous fortress monastery called the Fang. And this is on the world of Fenris. I wanted to find out more about this. So I've been looking online and I went to the Warhammer40kfandom.com and found a huge section on the Fang. So this is packed with information about the layout, exactly what it entails, the size, loads of narrative behind it. So I thought this is brilliant. So I've spent a bit of time today reading through this and this has really inspired me to kind of use all this information to put together some kind of centerpiece and a display piece for my army. And this article is brilliant. It tells you all about the interior and the exterior as well. Really sets the scene for exactly what this fang is all about. And then it's got all the different interior sections, even down to chambers, rooms and sections that relate to specific characters, maybe, and also bits of lore. So I think it would be really cool to make this fang as the centerpiece, have the different rooms in there and then have it as like a blank canvas then to fill those internal spaces as time goes on. Um, maybe when I'm playing and a character does something heroic, we can add something to that room, almost have like a shrine in each one for each character and just add things in there. I think that'd be really fun to build up the narrative of the army, make it really personal and make something of this display piece and really tie it in to the army and what they get up to. So I just spent a little bit of time, I grabbed all the different polystyrene pieces and sheets and started to just to piece together roughly the size that I'd want it. And so this isn't exactly how I'm going to build it. There's going to be a lot more going on, a lot of carving of the foam and everything. But I put all the bits together just to get some idea of how big it would be compared to the board. And then the board size I use there is a 44 by 30 inch. And those polystyrene sheets are just a representative. That's not what I'm going to make the board out of. And then I've just been going back over the images. I've saved a ton of them as some inspiration in different folders. And so I went back on Google, just had another look through, just trying to get some ideas in my head. But the main thing I want to do here is incorporate the kind of industrial futuristic shapes into the rugged, natural, mountainous, like rocks and things like that. So having like a blend of the two things like this, what this picture here is really great. This is kind of thing I'm looking at tying in the rocks 
with the structure I think would be really fun having an opening that would almost be like a hanger for the craft to come out a gate at the front for the tanks to roll out of I think would be really fun um, maybe some kind of bridge going across it maybe have two peaks one higher than the other something that links them together I think that could be quite interesting I could even go full-on Castle Greyskull and pop a skull in there He-Man style probably won't do that but it would be awesome and yeah so just thinking about all these different things really maybe even just a big wall like this with a big gate might be cool and then have the mountain and different sections jutting out of the top so this is really what I'm thinking about now and I know what I've got to work with so when I get back to the painting tomorrow I'll be really thinking about this because once I've got everything painted I think I'm going to have a good week to spend on this this one's quite good I really like this image too and so um, yeah having those real just straight angular pieces amongst the rocks I think is a really nice look but yeah so get painting again tomorrow then I can really start thinking about this for the next four or five days and then once I've got all the models complete I can spend a solid week building this backdrop and display piece and then also start putting the board together and building some actual terrain so a full week I think I can get quite a lot of terrain done in that time so that's the plan and then I'm even starting to think about how I could have a backdrop with maybe some side pieces as well almost to create that idea of a fjord and focus all the energy I don't know what that would be like to play on though might be a bit too much but I think for filming it's going to be really fun and when I do the rule series this will be the back uh, the background the backdrop and the board that I'll be doing it on so I really want to make it look really cool and fit in with the army and have something that's fun to look at when I'm recording the series so having everything almost put it put in a stage around the board I think would be a really cool way to go here I popped a tank in just to give you an idea of the scale that I want to go with and just having it coming out of some kind of door or gate I think would look awesome and then putting the models on there having some different um, areas where they can shoot from maybe even tie into some narrative game would be good where they've got to defend the fang or come out and attack like a horde that's attacking them so all these things I'm thinking about and then looking again at more images of terrain that other people have built just getting inspiration little ideas here and there and then just starting to build up something unique in my own mind that I can apply to all these pieces of foam that I've collected now with the boards I want to go with just a flat board so I'm not going to put any contours or like grooves or anything in that because so I want to have like a flat board it's going to be a frozen style but then I want to be able to put different pieces of terrain on it all focused on the frozen planet so there'll be like a ruined city and then there'll also be some wilderness areas as well and so I'm just thinking about that and also I've been watching some videos on how terrain works in 9th edition as well and just trying to get my head around all that but I'm really going heavy on the snow planet because my next project that I'll be starting in February is all going to be for Weekend Warriors and that's going to be like a fantasy setting in like forests and the kind of wilderness areas like that maybe a little bit of desert tying in so it's going to be completely different to this so this is really going to be the big snow frozen world that I want to focus on with the space wolves so there we go that's everything for day 18 I'm really happy I found that resource for the fang the information in there is just fantastic and that's really going to help me put this together and get it built and do all the things I want to do with it and having it as that blank cam uh, canvas that I can like develop over time as I build the army and play different games I think that's going to be a real fun feature of it and it's just going to look great as a centerpiece and a good way to store them as well so yeah this is going to be really fun to get this terrain done and I can't wait to share that process it's going to be completely different to a lot of the things I've done in the past I've only done a few terrain building videos like my desert terrain and things so really looking forward to sharing this whole process over the the final week of the challenge and also while we're doing that we can talk about the different sections how it plays into the law and then also look at the different units where they're going to fit in and talk about the rules a little bit and things like that and also work on terrain for the board and look at what kind of terrain is good for ninth edition and then build it specifically for the game which I think is going to be really interesting so I think there's been a lot to talk about as far as terrain goes and yeah that's gonna be a great way to end the challenge but thanks again for watching and i hope you enjoyed seeing how i'm building up to the terrain and getting that ready please like if you like it subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time here on tabletop skirmish games i'd like to say a huge thank you to my patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and i'll put a link for that in the description down below